Facebook goes anonymous, and the next wearable tech might just be on your finger. I'm Jeff Bacalar, in for Bridget Carey. This is your CNET update. Facebook is introducing anonymous login, a mode that will not allow any information to be sent during a session. It's an effort to help users control what different apps see and share. It should allow for users to have an easier time testing out other apps that use Facebook to log in without having to worry about spamming your friends. There's a new Android smartphone from China that's getting a lot of buzz for its powerful performance and impressively low price. Unfortunately, it's got an awful name. It's called the One Plus One. I know, I know. It runs a nearly pure version of Android, but right now only people with an invite can buy it. It will be rolling out to 16 countries by June, and that actually includes the US and the UK. It has a 5.5 inch display, a quad core processor, and it starts at only $300. And best of all, that's the full price. There's no contract required. If you'd like to learn more about this amazing phone, you can head on over to CNET.com. We have an early review of it. So that new phone might have a lot of hype from eager mobile fans, but there's a well-known brand that's struggling for attention in the smartphone world. Today, LG announced the G3, its new top-of-the-line smartphone, and it'll be unveiled on May 27th. But with the HTC One M8 and Samsung's Galaxy S5 already in stores, most experts are thinking LG is a little late to this party. That could potentially hurt sales. Office iPad users can now print right off the app. Some other new features include smart guides for PowerPoint and AutoFit for Excel. Microsoft said millions of people have downloaded the iPad app since it was released back in March. But even though it's free to download and open and view files, you still have to pay $10 a month to create and edit documents. Everyone seems obsessed with wearable tech, but there's a new gadget that takes all that technology and puts it into a ring. The Nod is a smart ring that turns your pointer finger into a mouse. So imagine pointing your finger at the TV to move a cursor on screen or using your finger to play games like Fruit Ninja. There's a small touchpad on a flat surface so you can use your thumb to make selections and to click. The Nod is still in prototype mode, but the company has opened up the platform to developers to see what other applications they can create. That's gonna do it for your news update. Please head over to CNET.com for more details. From our studios here in New York, I'm Jeff Bagalar.